Imagine a world where you are the star of your own movie. That's what one company is promising. Dreamscape Immersive is a new virtual reality experience that uses state-of-the-art technology to transport viewers into an imaginary world. It's a way of using VR that's really quite, quite revolutionary. We are able to take your whole body and actually turn you into an avatar and put you into a richly detailed digital world in which you sort of become the, the star of the movie. Guests suit up head to toe in VR gear and enter a room. Are you guys ready? Yeah. yeah. All right, yeah. let's go inside. They watch as their bodies transform into digital avatars. In the virtual world, they must work together by interacting with their surroundings if they want to reach the end. We make experiences that merge the emotional value or the emotional impact you get from a good Hollywood movie with the visceral thrills you get from a theme park ride. Walter Parks is the chairman and co-founder of Dreamscape Immersive best known for producing Hollywood blockbusters such as Gladiator, Men in Black, and Minority Report, he brings a long list of big-time investors to the startup. It's backed by some of the movie industry's most iconic names, including Warner Media, the parent company of CNN, as well as Steven Spielberg, Hans Zimmer, 21st Century Fox, AMC Theatres, MGM, and IMAX, to name a few. Dreamscape opened its first international location Thursday in Dubai's Mall of the Emirates. The mall's developer, Majid al fatame is betting on Dreamscape's technology to drive footfall. The future of Legend Entertainment is going to be more and more human-fueled and human-intensive. It's about our ability to actually provide our customers with the opportunity to create great moments. And these are all about human interaction and emotions. And Dreamscape is a champion at that. In the past, virtual reality has been widely reserved for gaming and commercial practices. Dreamscape is hoping their platform will redefine entertainment. I think we're at the very, very beginning of what this could be, but also the technological curve has to continue to move so that it's cheaper, more accessible, less bulky, and it's going to be an exciting 10 years, I'll tell you that much. Claire Sebastian, CNN.